Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over the Lowland Kids Boy Shorts pattern. Um, I usually do my videos with um, instructions typed onto the screen, so I thought I would try it out this way with a voiceover. So let me know what you guys think. Here are the pieces you're going to need to start. You have one front that was cut on the fold, one back piece that was cut on the fold, four pocket pieces, and then I actually don't have my strips showing here. Um, and I know that they updated the, the patterns for these um, to get the raw edges, so I'll go over that when we get to that point. Um, so first and foremost, you want to find the notch in the patterns shown here. That's where you're gonna place your pockets. So what I like to do is lay the pattern piece over, grab the pocket piece, and then here's a close up. I just match the top of the pocket piece to where it goes. I like contrast on my pocket, so I'm placing my pocket pieces wrong side on the right side of the shorts. Then I flip over and make sure the other side, the tops of the pockets are matching. And I clip. I repeat the same for the um, front side, line up the pattern piece, line up the pocket piece, again, my wrong side of the pockets to the right side of the fabric. And this is perfect. This is personal preference. You can definitely place them right sides together depending on what you want. So we're going to sew just the pockets on right now. So one quick straight line of serging to get those pockets in place. Do this for all four pockets. You'll notice I'm just doing the pockets, I'm not going the whole length of the seam. Should look like this once they're sewn on and your pockets are flipped out. Now we're going to line them up. Make sure your shorts, the body of the shorts, are right sides together. Line up the outer seams and the pockets and pin clip as you deem necessary. So we'll start here and we're going to serge around those pocket pieces that we just serged on. These are some pretty sharp corners for the serger, sharp curves. So I just take my time and I am slightly lifting the presser foot to adjust going around the corners as I go. Once I get here, I'll just pull the fabric to create a straight edge and go on through. I'll repeat the same process for the other side. So this is a little hack I like to do. Um, if you're not doing this hack, the normal pattern just calls to go ahead and search that center seam together and close it up. I find that a little goosette helps it not bunch as much, so all I do is cut a one and a half inch wide strip and put right sides together on one side of the crotch. Cut that off and then just attach it the other right sides together to the other side of the crotch. And I just help, I just find that this helps the pattern not bunch as much on my baby. But like I said, this is just a personal preference, tiny little hack. If you're not doing this, go ahead and just serge those crotches together. This is what it looks like, just a little strip. 
and then I cut off the excess. So the new pattern, I believe, there's a new, um, it prints longer so that all you do is hem the shorts and then you cut that hem. Um, I still have this version, so it says to cut four strips. What I like to do is I just cut two strips on the fold. And since I'm making up for that little goosette piece that I added, I'm gonna cut a little longer. So I'm only gonna get two because I'm cutting on a fold. Cut the other piece out. And now I have my two strips to make that raw edge. This is also personal preference. I like the contrasting raw edge, so I place my strip wrong sides together all along the inside. And I'll clip at the beginning, at the seam of the outer leg, and at the end, lining up those edges. I'll repeat the process for the other side. I'm doing this on a cover stitch. You can do this on your machine with a twin needle. I will go over the twin needle when I touch the waistband. Um, I just line it up with the 5 8 line and go ahead and top stitch that strip. Repeat the process for the other leg. This is what it should look like when you're done. This is what I meant that I like the contrasting pockets, so I like the white to show. Now we'll move on to the elastic and I pin in quarters. So fold the elastic in half and pin to the side seams. Then bring those center clips together and find the center of the other sides and clip those together. This allows you to serge the elastic on evenly. When we serge the elastic on, we want to stretch the elastic with the fabric so that it's serged on flat. Notice as I'm serging on, I'm using my left hand to pull the fabric in front and my right hand to pull the fabric back as it feeds through the machine. I'm pulling my elastic just enough to make the fabric lie flat. I'm not overstretching the fabric. Should look like this. Now it's time to top stitch. So I take the seams and fold down and clip to help keep it in place. Once I have those, I like to stretch the elastic until it's flat, just to make sure it bunches up evenly and nicely. Then I will clip the centers. I'm using my twin needle. Some of you had asked previously where I put the other spool. My machine just came with this accessory to place over where I wind my bobbin. This is my hack to hem easily. I use my son's Lego and I just use painter's tape to tape it on my machine at the one inch mark line and I top stitch. Now 
Notice that I'm using my left hand to pull the fabric in front of the machine as well as the back. I do this so, th so that there's not enough tension to break the needles. This helps feed through the machine easily and evenly. Which will look like that. So I've seen some places of how to finish surged end. I like to cut it short and just pull the looper threads tight until it creates its own knot, then I cut it off. I don't know if that's correct, but it's what I do because I'm lazy and I don't feel like tying them back through. So again, I cut it short, pull the looper threads till it knots up, and cut it off. Then just add on your drawstring. I do a quick back and forth stitch. And there you have it, your finished boy shorts. Like I said, guys, this is um, my first voiceover. Let me know if you prefer the written instructions or well, if it was too quick. I try to keep these short and to the point. Don't forget to post your makes. Thanks for listening along.